An Ontario woman claims that uh, visitors are defecating in the sand at Wasega <laughs> Beach. Sorry? Yes. This is not about condoms or about meat. This is about the beach. TikTok user It's Natty LXNN 2.0 has been oh. posting videos claiming people are coming to the beach at Wasaga post that. Beach Provincial <laughs> Park, setting up tents and doing their dirty business in the sand. Wow. Um, she's a mom who lives in the area, has kids as well. She says, I'm going to make a series. I'm going to go down to the main end to show everyone the thousands of tents that they have set up, which... Uh, which are still up, and these are starting to be shared all over social media. No tourist respects the no-tent rule, and they also dig holes, listen to that, dig holes under the tent to use as a washroom, and I'll be documenting it. As a matter yep. of fact, we do have uh, cut number one. Uh, here she is. This is the woman, uh, what's her name? Uh, it's Natty LXNN. Uh, talking about the poop story. Here it is. Cut number three. Check this out. See this. So I'm tired of people saying that the people pooping on the beach like that's what they do back home we are not back home we are in canada as a local i refuse to let my kids dig in the sand on beach one and you guys are saying all the tents are gone no they're not no they're not the beach is full of tents full and this is not including in the side areas of the beach there is little treed areas there that is like mini forest but it's cleared so people can put up camp there that is where they're still 100% doing it. And they are still 100% doing it on the beach, but more discreetly. Um, it is still happening. This this is nothing that's going to change. People with that mentality will not change it. So people need to stop arguing with me and acting like this isn't happening. This is not just three years ago. This is today. This is this week. This is still happening. The tents are still up. The people are still coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's yeah. making reference to the... Uh, the immigrants that have uh, made their way into Canada, basically from India. I guess this is an acceptable practice there, Damon. It sounds like going to the beach in Canada is a real crapshoot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we dig on the beach here in Long Island, we find uh, seashells. <laughs> yeah, we just that exactly. Or, yeah, that are body yeah, parts. We, we find a few <laughs> other things too, but yeah. that's another story. Yeah. Remember. Well, it no. turns out in this isn't the end of the story, believe it or not. This, this oh. happened the other day. Oh, thank God. There was a follow up. Oh, no. She got a visit from the oh, local police man. because she's calling out the visitors, the, the transplants. Um, they planting all right because of uh, what they've been doing, and they actually the police actually came to see her regarding her TikTok post. Here's cut number four. Watch this. Do you want to know why why my food is burnt? Because I had a police officer come to my door and harass me because of my videos. Somebody called in and said she's harassing East Indian people. No, I'm not. I did not harass anybody. Um, I am telling <laughs> stories that I have. This is relevant. And I, <laughs> I mean, really. well, because this is this is one of those consequences of immigration. These people come in and they don't they don't assimilate. They just decide I'm going to treat this just like I do at my own home or in my own country. And you know what's sick? Someone called the cops on her. Yes. You know what? You know why? That's the left is going. She's a racist because she doesn't want her kids digging up duty. So I'm going to call the cops on her. (laughs) This is part of the social conditioning. Where you say you cannot criticize another race or another culture or another religion, or that makes you a biggity biggity. Yeah. So that's how the left the lefties feel better about themselves. We're Actually, it was the mayor who is uh, denying that any of this any of this ah, stuff ah, is going on. I'm so and woke. Is probably responsible for the police coming to her house. <laughs> hey, mommy, look at this rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So oh. this there claim you have has it. corn in it. Just just another, uh, you know, since we're talking about immigration, I mean, come on, just another uh, example of uh, what we're dealing with when it comes to uh, immigration and some of the things that those who don't assimilate and they're not encouraged to and they're rewarded for their behavior. This is what ha- ends up happening. Crap on a beach. Yeah. It's a crappy story, too, to boot. <laughs> yeah, it's no condom story, I understand. Well, no, no, that, that was oh, the real. Oh, that I was remember the, well, the two of you, no, huh? Was, oh, that, that was the real hey, rub. Delgado's defen- getting <laughs> yeah. a little defensive of well. his news stories. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Imagine going fishing there. Oh, I caught a four-pound feces. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, uh, this show is turning to you know what. <laughs> Come on, man. That, that was pretty corny. 